Hi guys, welcome in this uh, MQL5 tutorial video and in this video I would like to show you how simple it is to create a multi time frame indicator. So uh, the idea is, is really simple. In trading it's very useful to use higher time frames in order to for example uh, detect the trend and then go to the lower time frames to execute entries on it and that's exactly uh, what i will be creating an indicator for today so i will switch to my mt5 edit oh i am already in my mt5 meta editor and i will create a new indicator it's uh, so when you do so you can uh, see these options i will create custom indicator and i will call it for example something like multi time frame trend just like this parameters uh, will just need one parameter and that's trend period so for how many candles we want to calculate the trend and let's say 50 as the initial value click ok or next we can leave this as it is and we will need uh, one trend line it uh, will be of type color line and let's say that we want uh, green for uptrend and this type of red for downtrend and we can click on finish so you can see here uh, this is my initial preview of the code i have uh, this indicator initialized right here here is our input variable and yeah here are the buffers for the indicator so let's continue what I have to add in order for this to be the um, multi time frame indicator is to let the user choose uh, the time frame he wants to use. So this is done like this. So input, and now we uh, want to type enum time frames and uh, let's call this variable for example indicator tf and let's set the initial value to period current so the initial value is that uh, this indicator will be used on the time frame that you are uh, setting it on so if you set it on for example 15 minutes chart the initial value is going to be 15 15 minutes chart and if you deploy it on for example one hour chart the initial value will be uh, one hour chart but we can change this time frame from the user's uh, inputs menu later so this is it now i have to go on this on calculate function and i'll just um, type something like this trend period times two i hope you are familiar with the syntax here so you know what it is what uh, this piece of code does if you are not we are basically looping uh, through all of the avail available data from the history and that's it now what we have to do is to choose some type of uh, trend clarification what i will do i will uh, do one very simple uh, trend classification algorithm and that is that we are going to sum all of the positive distances so all of the distances of bullish candles and we will sum all of the negative distances so all of the distances of the bearish candles and then we will calculate the ratio and if uh, the ratio or if the total distance of bullish candles is higher 
then the total distance of bearish candles then we are in an uptrend and vice versa so it's a very simple idea for the indicator but let's do it since uh, this is very simple uh, simple tutorial so we will create uh, two variables the first one is double uh, bull distance let's set to zero then bear distance Let's set that also to zero, and that's all we need. Now we'll go go uh, to this for loop, and we'll create one more loop inside this for loop for x. And now we'll be iterating through the the number of candlesticks we want the trend to calculate from. So a x is uh, lower than trend period and we'll increase x with each iteration and let's let's go so bull distance plus equals and now we want to know if um, the candlestick is bullish so if close i minus x is higher than open i minus x in this case we are dealing with a bullish candlestick then we want to uh, then we want to add close minus open and in the other case uh, sorry like this and in the other case we will um, increase the bull distance variable by zero and let's do the same thing for the bear distance but in this case we want the close to be lower than the open price and we'll just uh, change these and yes this is it also what i uh, have to remember is that i want on each new iteration so on uh, each new candlestick I want to set the pull distance and bear distance variable initial values to zero okay so this is it and now I will create new variable called trend and let's say so if bull distance is larger than bear distance uh, in that case the trend is one and in the other case it's two okay so now uh, this is this is it we will need one more thing to do and that is to calculate the moving average so ma equals zero and here we can do just ma plus equals close i minus x and ma uh, divided by trend period so we need this moving average for our uh, trend line buffer so we can visualize the trend and trend line colors will be based on the trend okay so this is it i just uh, remembered that i did something that i shouldn't do because since this is a tutorial on multi time frame indicator we can't be using these open high low and close arrays because these arrays always store value for the current time frame so what we have to do is to use this type of um, function for uh, for uh, receiving the prices so i close on the current symbol and here in this case we have to specify the time frame and for our purpose in this case we will pass the input variable as the time frame so we can change the time frame and receive prices for different different time frames and that's uh, what we need here we just have to uh, remember that the syntax is a little bit different and that it looks like this so instead of typing i minus x we want to type rates total minus i and then plus x and that's how you do it i'll take this copy it here and i'll just uh, 
use the eye open and here is the same thing but I will also call it like this and now I will just take this paste it here and I will change this symbol right here and we want to do I open minus I close for the bearish um, candlestick and this is also very simple I just take this I close and put it in here and also I have forgot one thing is that that we also want to initialize the moving average variable on each new iteration to zero so that's it now if I go to my chart and uh, look for this indicator so indicators sorry, yeah YouTube and it's this multi time frame trend and I um, drop it on this chart uh, you can see that in this case uh, we are using the current time frame so if I click on this you will see that uh, we have our trend indicator for the, for the current time frame and we are on one hour time frame so if I change this to 15 minutes this is going to be calculated based on the 15 minutes time frame so let's just wait a second yes and we have it here so now what I can do is that I will go to this uh, settings menu and I can change the time frame for example to one hour and if I do so you will see that uh, the line and also the trend will change so let's click OK and let's see what happens you can see that it looks like this because we are because we are using much higher time frame so so I don't like this visualization so what I can do is to change this so so we scale it to our so we can scale it to other to our chart so I'll just scale it like this and you will see that the trend changes yeah yeah this is this is what what I am looking for and now just to for a comparison to show you that this works as it should be working let's go to the 15 minute chart and let's deploy this indicator as well but leave the indicator time frame um, input as the current time frame and you will see that we receive different signals because on this chart we are using one hour time frame and on this chart the current time frame so if i zoom back you can see that we are receiving different signals okay I can go even further on this to select the time frame for example to four hours and you will see that we will receive different yeah you will see that for example all the way here we are in a downtrend it's it's pretty crazy so yeah so this is the way of how you can how you can create your uh, multi multi time frame indicators and also what you can of course do is to set uh, the time frame to the lower time frame I don't know why you would be you, uh, doing that but you can do it as well and I can see that we are having some issues so just one second because this shouldn't look like this okay let's I think I know where the issue is let's let's try this that will work yes this looks much much better so where was the issue it's very simple basically um, if you are using different different time frames then you have to be very very um, 
cautious about these for loops because if you are using a for loop for your current time frame then the then the number of avail available data points will differ from when you are using a different time frame so for example if i am using uh, this is for one hour chart and i want to select it for four hour chart then i have four times less data points available therefore i have to adjust my calculations in the uh, for loops but it, it can be solved by this this is not ideal solution but it's a very simple solution and very fast solution so that's what i want to do here so one more time if i change it to four hour time frame for example now it should be working as it should and you'll see difference I hope so. Okay. So yeah, yeah. You can see it. You can see it. So yes. This this is it. This is very simple indicator and very simple idea. And thank you for watching.